Hello everybody. In this video I show you how to add data from a structure or from an internal table to a database table. Today I use the database table spfly flight schedule and to this table I want to add some data today. So I begin with the declaration of the variables. We need a structure from the type spfly. So I write as ls spfly type spfly. And next we want to fill this structure with data, but before let's have a look to the table. And we see these are the columns. And for us important are the key columns. And in this table, the key columns are the client, the care ID and the connection ID. And these columns we have to fill before the insert to the database table. And this key should be unique. Okay. So let's fill the data. I write ls sp fly and first I want to fill the care ID. I use here AA for American Airlines. Then second, oh that was the wrong paste, ls sp fly the connection ID uh, let's have a look to the data of the database table because we need a unique key okay and I see the, the entry AA is not in the care ID column so it's okay so I can use the care ID AA and the connection ID I use here one so this is a unique key and I add some more data so it's easier for us to read these new entries in the database table. So I add the country from, I use here Austria. Next, I want to add the city, city from, I take here Vienna, the capital, and where we go to India. It's IN, and which city I choose here. Bangalore because there is also a big SAP community. Okay. So we uh, created a structure with data and this structure I want to add to the database table. And for this, we use the command insert into spfly. This is our database table. And we write values. Add Okay, values at ls sp fly. And I want to know if the the, the entry uh, was added uh, correct or if there was an error. So I check the C if this uh, C is zero. Everything is okay. 
and else there was an error. So I write here entries edit else if there was an error then the super C is 4 and I write here error. Okay, I close this if with and if and let's pretty print the code and activate and let's run the program. Yes, one entry edit. Then let's have a look on the date on the table. Let's refresh the entries. Yes, and we see there is our carrier. There is city from Vienna to Bangalore. And okay, the airport code is not filled, but it's okay. Okay, but what's going on if the entry already exists? Because the key is already inserted, we get an error here. Okay, that was the structure. The next step is uh, how to add data from an internal table. And for this, I declare an internal table LT SP fly type table of SP fly. And I copy this uh, structure data. So I have two structures here. And after the data, I have to append this structure to my internal table. So I write here append lssb fly, the name of my structure with the data, to my internal table ltsb fly. And now I can uh, use the structure again for new data. For example, I change here the connection ID and I change the country from India to Germany. And I travel not to Bangalore, I travel to Berlin. And in my first structure, I change the connection ID because the connection ID with one is already added. And I append the second structure to my internal table as well. Okay, so I create one structure, append this structure to my internal table, and I do the same with my second structure. So I have two entries in my internal table. And now I want to insert this data to my database table. For this, I write insert SB fly from table LT SB fly. Okay. And here again, if there is an error or not, and we can show the the number of added entries. So I write number of entries and I use here the system variable to db count. db count. Okay. Let's pretty print the code and let's activate. Okay, let's run the code and we see, okay, entries added and the number of entries is two. Okay, let's go back and let's have a look to the table again. We refresh the table. And we see here two new entries with the connection ID two and three. Connection ID three is from Vienna to Berlin and Connection ID 2 is from Vienna to Bangalore again. 
Okay, so these uh, two entries are added successfully. But let's try the report again. What's going on when the key, when the entries are already existing in the table? Okay, we get a dump with the runtime error, duplicate key error. Okay, we can avoid this dump. So let's go back to the code. Okay, because we can add here another command to the insert command. And this is called accepting duplicate keys. So if we use this command, we don't get a dump again. Instead, we get uh, the, the info entries added or error. Let's run again. We see, okay, there's no dump anymore. There are no entries added because the entries are already in our table and we get an error instead. Yes. Maybe I can show you uh, the debugger so you can see how the structure is filled and how the structure is added to the internal table. So let's have a look to the first structure. We see the, the data, Vienna, Bangalore, and so on, and the internal table. And if I press F5, if I go the next step, the structure is added to the internal table. And now I go step to step forward, and you see the country and the city is changed. And the entries in my internal table are two. So these both structures are added to my internal table. And if I go to the insert command, we see the su super c is four because there is an error. And the error is because the entries are already in my table. The keys are already in my table. Okay, I hope you liked the video. If this so, please uh, subscribe my channel, leave a comment if you want, and I would be happy if we see us again in some of my next videos. Thank you and goodbye.